Um, this Z-Rod also plays a big role in the amount of friction that you'll see as the bed goes up and down. And as you know, through the instructions, you're, you're using the uh, Z-Alignment tool to make sure this is exactly centered. Then after you do that, just double check a couple of things with this. First, in the very small gap in between this pulley here and a bearing in this bearing block, that bearing, there needs to be daylight in between the bearing itself and the pulley. So it goes block, bearing, daylight, pulley. And if you can see that there, see how there's a little bit of space in there? That space allows the Z-Rod to float on top of the bearing. If it doesn't, it creates friction between the pulley and the bearing and it can slow down uh, the Z-Rod and, and actually stall it out. Um, so that's something you really want to make sure of. Another thing you want to make sure of is that this, this belt is completely parallel from one pulley to the next. It's okay if one's on the top part and one's on the bottom part, but if there's any catching on the edges of the pulley, that'll wear your belt out pretty quick and, and create some friction on that too. Um, so once that's set and you have a good tension on here, you want just a little bit of play, not too much, not too tight, not too loose. Then we go to the bed.